Hey everybody, I will be on in just a second. Let me know how all the sound is. And also vote on uh, what kind of cactus body you want me to make. We're going to have probably a decent amount of different kinds of votes today. Um, you know, like body color, what kind of flowers to add, all that kind of fun stuff. So go ahead and vote on the body type first, and then we'll vote on the rest of it in uh, once we get started. And also, look how cute Jimbo is. Okay, I hope I sound good. All right, bye. See you on soon. Jimbo seems like he's going to be pretty chill today. At least I hope so. But you know, he could change his mind at any moment. Rock and roll. Wait, can you hear me? Did I turn my audio on? Yes, I did. Okay, hi everybody. Welcome to the live stream. I know it's been a week or so. Uh, but hi, how are you guys? How's everybody doing? Hello to the chat. A lot of people crocheting right now. Hey, Zim. Hey, Julie. Hey, Tegan. How are you doing? Tegan, you're early. Thanks for joining. Hey, Maddie, how are you guys? Yeah, J Jimbo's being really sweet. Hey, Samantha. All right. Hey, everybody. So today, oh boy, he's already been awoken. I shouldn't have said anything. Oh. Well, thanks for hanging out before the stream started, buddy. You did your best. Um. <laughs> 
Hi everybody. So today we are going to be crocheting a cactus. Uh, and the type of cactus is totally going to depend on you. Jimbo, I gotta talk. I gotta do some talking first. No, I'm sorry. Very distracting, I know. Um, so today we are going to be making a cactus. The type of cactus totally depending on you. I just put it in the uh, poll in the chat. Uh, but yeah, let's just talk about all the things that you're going to need today if you want to crochet along with me. Uh, and then talk about how you can support this channel. And then let's just get rocking and rolling. Um, like I said, the uh, the type of cactus that we're going to be making is totally dependent on you. Um, both the size, the color, the type of flower, the face that we're going to be making. Um, so we're yeah, we're just kind of kind of be going off of the uh, cuff. Oh. Jules dropped something in the other room. Um, okay, so first off, what you're gonna need if you want to crochet along with me. The first thing that you're gonna need is a crochet hook. I'm gonna be using a size four millimeter G size crochet hook today. That's my favorite kind of hook to use for the yarn that we'll be using. Uh, you'll need a darning needle. I like using a crimped end darning needle like this. It helps you get in and out of hard to reach stitches. You'll need a pair of scissors and uh of course you're gonna need all the materials now we're gonna be talking about uh, all the materials that is gonna be in the seasonal crochet kit that is out now so if you want to get a seasonal crochet kit check out the link in the description um it is this new cool kit that has all the materials that you need to make six different projects and yada yada body boo booty uh i've kind of been talking about it all month but it is way way cool so let's go ahead and just open it up and look at the oh, the materials that we're gonna use today. Now the colors that we're gonna be using is totally dependent on you. Looks like you guys voted on a body. So actually let's go ahead and stop the poll for the body and start a poll for what color to use. What color for the body? Dark green or No. Well, hold on, dude. Okay, so we just voted on what kind of body we're making. I didn't even look at which one it was. Hold on, hold on. I gotta vote for which color. I'm gonna go with that color. Go away. There we go. Uh, oh, cool. We're making a hunky cactus, Jimbo. Yes. Okay. You can come right here while we're making while we're grabbing all of our materials. Okay. So, the colors that you're going to be needing today, we're going to be using all worsted weight yarn in 100% cotton. It's my favorite kind of yarn to use for amigurumi, as you probably know. Um, the colors you're going to need is whatever we're going to be using for our body. We're voting right now between sage green, that's going to be this one right here, or forest green for the body. Uh, it's totally dependent. You can make it which, with, with whatever color you want. He's gonna stay there, right? Okay, good. Um, <laughs> besides that, um, you we won't need brown today because we're gonna be making a hunky cactus, which means that we're not gonna be making dirt for the pot, unless we wanna make the pot that the cactus is in brown, but we probably won't be. Um, we'll probably need our beige yarn. This is gonna be the first time we're using it today uh, for the pot for the cactus. So we'll need that one. Um, we can use blue for the pot of the cactus though too. So we'll do a vote for what kind of pot we wanna make for a cactus, what color when we get to that part. Um, and then we're gonna need yellow. That's gonna be for the flower that goes on the top of the cactus. We may need our white yarn as well for the flower. Where is that? Oh, it's right here. Um, I already have that out. And then beside that, we'll need some safety eyes. We're gonna be using probably eight millimeter safety eyes today, but again, it's gonna be dependent on what you guys want me to make for the eyes. And then we'll need a little bit of our, oh here, I already had that out too, our black thread. This is gonna be for the mouth, which again, you're gonna vote on that. So I don't know what kind of mouth we're gonna be making just yet. Let's see, what else? Is there anything else in here that we need? I guess not. Um, the rest of these are going to be used for our um, our bonsai tree, which we're going to be making next week. But those are all the materials that we're going to be using today. Of course, you're going to want some stuffing as well. Um, and my 
missing anything? I don't think so. Wow, Jimbo actually did stay there. Good for him. What a good boy. Um, okay, so we're making the hunky cactus, so I'm going to pull the pattern up right now. If you want to get the pattern, it's available at clubcrochet.com slash cactus. It's available with the Club Crochet membership, which I'll talk about in just a second. Or you can, of course, purchase it too. Um, but yeah, you can find it at clubcrochet.com slash cactus. It has a full video and everything. Let's see. Am I missing anything, guys? Anything else that... I need to talk about before we actually get into the crochet part. I'm not sure. What color are we voting on on the... Oh man, it is a split vote. So we'll wait a second longer for whatever body color we're going to be making. Uh, and in the meantime, let's talk about how you can support this channel if you'd like to. So if you like what's going on here and you really want to support the channel, you want it to thrive and keep on keeping on, uh, there's a few ways you can do so. The first free way is just like this video down below and subscribe to the channel. Last time we were asking for 150 likes, we were just short. I even liked it on all my other accounts to try to get it to there, but we didn't make it to 150 likes and that's all right. But if this video gets to 150 likes, we are going to uh, be doing a giveaway. So try to like this video. We're going to try to get to 150 likes and if we do, we'll do a giveaway next live stream. Um, obviously subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And uh, yeah, that's the free way to support. If you want to support monetarily, well, that would be pretty cool. Uh, the best way to support monetarily is with a Club Crochet membership. Membership gets you access to all of my patterns on my website. Um, I add new ones every single month. We're doing new seasonal patterns. So this season was photosynthesis. Next season is under the sea, which starts on July 1st. We'll talk a little bit more about what that means in a, in a little bit. Um, but memberships are great. They're a great way to not only get a bunch of stuff, but also support the channel. Um, yeah, you get a whole bunch of stuff for the membership. Uh, memberships start at only $5 a month. You can even get a free trial. Other ways to support, you can uh, purchase kits and merch in the store. In fact, if you want one of the seasonal crochet kits that we're using today, um, they are available in the store. Uh, the This season's kit is now available for purchase next season's kit under the sea which i have been working very hard on you can actually see it uh if we go to the cat cam it's right there on the right uh and that's actually filled with a bunch of crocheted uh under the sea things that i'm working on for next season and i think you're really the first pattern for next season you're really really gonna like i i i guarantee you're gonna love it um it's very, very cool. But the if you want to purchase next season's kit, the pre-order is going to be available soon, but you can also get an annual pass, which gets you this month's kit and the next four months' kits. Uh, and it's a really, really good way to support the channel. And you get a whole Club Crochet membership with your purchase. So it's kind of like a double double whammy. You get a lot, you get a lot with an annual pass. Um, as well as, hold on, hold on, pins. Boop, 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 boop. Hold on, I'm trying to find the cactus pin. Ah, oh, here it is. This was the pin for this month. Every month we get, we're going to be doing a brand new pin. Uh, and next month's pin is really, really cool. Uh, is there an octopus? Of course there's an octopus. You know it, Maddie. Um, if you want to purchase an annual pass, you'll get a pin. I actually just put these pins up in the shop literally like not even an hour ago. So if you want to purchase this pin, it is also available. But it's available with an annual pass as well. And next month's pin, if you end up pre-ordering next month or you, um, or you purchase an annual pass, you'll get next month's pin and I'm so proud of it. Um, this is a little sneak peek. I think you're really going to like it. I, I, I really, really like it. Look at how cute this pin is. Wait, can I get it to focus right? Look at how cute that pin is. It's a little crocheted yarn octopus in a fish bowl, and he's got a crochet hook in his hand like he's, you know, being fished out. It's, I think it's so, so cute. I'm really, really proud of this pin. I think it's gonna be really cool. Um, and yeah, so every month we're doing new pins, so yeah, you can join that. Uh, there's also a Jimbo pin in the store. The last way to support, if you really, really want to, um, you can support by tipping. If you tip, I'll add something to our background, which hasn't been... Oh, well, look at that. Thank you, Julie. That was perfect timing. You're amazing. Um, so if you'd like to, you can tip, and I'll add something into the background for you. Um, we're still waiting on a tree, 
dad. Uh, we've been waiting on a tree to go here for like literally since the beginning of the year, but he has been extremely not making it. <laughs> it's kind of a bummer, uh, but it'll be there eventually. But if you support, I add something to the background for you. And today we already started off with a pretty good one. Uh, thank you so much, Julie. We're gonna add something to the background for Julie. Hold on, I have, oh, here they are. Hold on, I've got some, I've got a bonnable just for you, Julie. I had it, I had it in the wrong spot. Okay, this I'm gonna place out for you, Jolie. Oh, and we got one for Cooper. I just wanna show it on the screen. This one's gonna be for Jolie. We got our little rainbow piggy. Oh my God. Does that not scream Jolie? Totally. It's like, Jolie. That's a pretty good pig noise. Hey, who, who knew? Uh, and then for Cooper, Super duper Cooper. Wait, where was it? I had a hummingbird for you. Oh, there it is. This one's for Cooper who also just tipped $10. Thank you so much, Cooper. Um, keeping awesome. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you, Julie. <laughs> um, yeah, when I get a tree, you'll donate 10. Thank you. I, thank you. Uh, hopefully that'll come soon, dad. Uh, <laughs> This is gonna be for Cooper. We got a little hummingbird, and then I add. I I know I say ten dollars for the background, but you know what? I'm feeling generous today, so five dollars will get you something in the background. So we'll add something for Julie. But let's go ahead and add these to the background. Um, you might be noticing we are missing uh, a rainbow um, a rainbow dragon that was right up here. Uh, so I got a. I gotta make a new rainbow dragon. I, I lent it to a friend and then they, they kept it. And I was like, no! <laughs> um, but yes, we're gonna add the rainbow piggy there and then our little hummingbird right there. Wow, we have got quite a collection up there, by the way. And by the way, down here is everything so, like, because we haven't really had a lot of things to add to the scene right now, I've just been adding all the things that we've been crocheting this year to the to this um, thing. So we've got a whole bunch of stuff, like the little heart that we made. We've got our tortoise that we made a few weeks ago here. Our dwarf that we made in the beginning of the year. Our little cobalt boomy, our bomby, bomby. Um, our goblin from last week, you get the gist. Okay. There we go. The big purple dragon. Oh, the big purple dragon is in the corner. I actually should put the purple dragon somewhere. I just didn't really know where to put it without the, oh, you know what? Maybe we can make it like crawling on the background. I'm gonna think about that. Thank you for the idea, Tegan. Uh, I do need to put the purple, back, uh, purple dragon in the background. Um, okay, so we voted on the color of the body. Oh, cool, sage green, very cool. I love that. All right, so we're gonna end that poll. I love that because I actually don't have a hunky dragon in sage green. So let me pull up the pattern now. Okay. Uh, and let me put most of these colors to the side. And while I get started on the sage green body, what do we need to vote on next? Um, well, I see the, the, the squirrels in the backyard right now. I can see through our window and they're going wild back there. Um, we need to vote as I crochet the body on the eyes. So, because we're gonna have to add the face sooner than we think. Um, I'm thinking for the eyes, probably what we should think about is like, do we wanna do kind of like googly eyes or do we wanna do like regular eyes, eight millimeter eyes? Um, actually, you know what? Let me show you what I mean by showing you what's in the new seasonal kit. So or not in the next in one of the things that I've been making next for next month. Let me just um, Switch to this real quick. I'll be one second oh. oh no, oh no <laughs> I totally messed that up. <laughs> Hold on. Oops. 
Yes. <laughs> My bad. Um, okay, so this is what I mean. I'm not going to show you the rest of the things in this, but I will show you one of the patterns that we're going to be making next month because I need your opinion on the eyes. Um, so our vote is going to basically be between doing, we can do like, we're going to choose four different things. We can do six millimeter eyes that are just, you know, regular six millimeter eyes. Let me grab a bunch of examples here. So this will be the six millimeter eye option, basically like what's on these goblin. We can do googly, kind of googly eight millimeter eyes which is on the seahorse, which is gonna be one of next month's patterns that you're gonna be making in the under the sea kit. So there's a little preview. Um, also, how freaking adorable is this? I'm so, <laughs> I made this yesterday and I'm just like, it's just really cute. So one of these guys, uh, we got Bonomo eyes, which are gonna be like this, or, or the classic eight millimeter eyes, which are just gonna be like, this so those are going to be our vote so i'm going to go ahead and put that in the vote really quick start a poll how should we make the eyes so eight uh six millimeter regular Eight millimeter regular, eight millimeter googly, style, or um, what was the last one? Oh, oh, uh, Bonimal. Oh, I'll, I'll say Bobble's Fish Eyes. Okay, so vote on that. There's your votes, eight millimeter regular, I mean, six millimeter regular, eight millimeter regular, eight millimeter like googly is what I put, I said seahorse style, or um, bottomal uh, bobble stitch eyes. So those are our vote for the eyes. We're not gonna need that for a second, but it's good to start getting that vote now so that when I get there, it's not I'm not like stressing out. Okay, so we're gonna vote for that. I'm actually just gonna vote for this one personally, because I get a vote too. And now we're gonna get crocheting. Okay. Happy Pride Month! Oh my God, yeah, you're right. Happy Pride Month to everybody out there. Oh, Isaac, thanks, dude. Tina, hello, Tina. How are you? Big hug from Denmark. Big hug from California. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to drop you, Hannah. It was an accident, probably. Most definitely, probably. Okay, so we're gonna need to go to the body of this. And then we're also gonna have to vote on flowers and stuff later too. But let's start here. All right. And I'm not gonna use a stitch marker. I'm also not teaching how to crochet this in this video. <laughs> Cat. <laughs> um. We're not going to be teaching, I'm not gonna teach you how to make this in this video because I do have a video tutorial where I taught, where I teach how to make it. So yeah, there's my explanation there. Uh, am I streaming next week? Yes, we're gonna be making a bonsai tree next week. Um, it's gonna be a two-parter because I know it's gonna take me a while to make it. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna be making part one of the bonsai tree next week and then part two of the bonsai tree will be the week after. And I think I'm gonna do more of like a chill live stream for those uh, where we do it like on the couch, um, like we did earlier when we made the um, the giant, uh, the giant uh, dragon. When we made the giant dragon, I did that. So I kind of want to just have more of a chill live stream for that, so. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So is it what's everybody else crochet? Oh, shoot. I I almost forgot to say um we also have a club crochet challenge going on right now. So if you want to crochet cactus for the club crochet challenge, essentially what you can do is you crochet a cactus, you take a picture and post it on Instagram or the um 
the Discord channel. Um, I'm gonna choose my four favorite cactuses, and then you're gonna vote on your um, your favorite of the four. And then, uh, yes, Samantha, I do need to get back to you about that. I'm sorry. Um, and then uh, the winner of the vote is going to win a uh, Under the Sea seasonal kit. So it's actually a pretty big prize because that's like an $80 kit. So if you want to learn more about that, um, that challenge and how to enter, uh, check out the link in the chat, which Cooper just posted because he's on fire. Thank you, Cooper. Um, there haven't been many submissions yet, so your likelihood of winning is like pretty good um so yeah if you want to crochet a cactus today for that challenge you totally can uh and yeah the only thing that i ask well the only thing not that i ask but a, a heavily suggested is to uh, give your cactus a theme so get, make i don't know give it some kind of theme uh that'll improve your chances of me choosing your cactus uh yeah Oh, and try to make the picture a square, so when I post about it, I can post about that. Um, and if you want to let me know what your social media handles are in your post, uh, go ahead and do that. Uh, if you post on Instagram, I'll obviously know your social media handles, though. Um, Samantha, yes, I'm sorry. I have to get back to you, I know. Uh, da -da -da. Susan's making the succulent! That is a brand spanking new pattern. Um, if you didn't know, I came out with the pattern literally yesterday for a succulent, which looks like this. You can find it at clubcrochet.com slash succulent. This is the fifth of the um, photosynthesis patterns. There's one more coming out later this month, but check this out. It also comes out of its pot. It's got a little face. It's so cute. We're going to be doing a live crochet along for a succulent um, later this month uh, in after the bonsai trees by the way. Oh, Virginia's making a Triceratops, cute. Wow, Jimbo, you don't say. Yeah, you know, it's not easy to run a live stream while I'm crocheting and having to baby a cat. So maybe you could just be chill. <laughs> Hello from New Zealand. Oh, shout out. Uh, what country is everybody from? Like, this is kind of crazy. The, um, oh, someone said, Hannah asked, is it open for international? I'm guessing you mean the challenge. And yes, the challenge is open for international. So you don't have to be in the United States to join the Club Crochet Challenge. Um, you can win the prize internationally, yeah. Yeah, definitely. Um, if you do win internationally, uh, it might be like a coupon code that you can use. So you might have to still pay for shipping, but... I don't know yet. I haven't really figured that part out, to be honest. So I'm kind of like winging it. But yeah, you definitely can enter internationally and you will, if you win, you will win, you know. I won't cheap you out of it. How many entries can we submit for the challenge? Um, I, you know, you can submit multiple. I would say, I please don't do more than two. Let's go with that two at most posts. I really prefer you just to post one, but if you really, really want to post two, you can. I'm not going to, I'm not going to harp you for that. Um, but try not to post more than that. We got Canada. We got New Zealand. Whoa, we got an Alaskan. I didn't, Tegan, I didn't realize you were in Alaska. That's wild. That's super cool. Oh, you got a pride cactus. Oh, good idea, Hannah. That's a really super solid idea. Um, submissions end for the cactus, I think on like June 15th or something. Uh, it says on the challenge page though that Cooper posted a few minutes ago. Um, it's also in the, I think it's in the description of this video if you wanna find a, a link. Um, okay, so I am currently on adding the height to our cactus we need to oh we also need to vote on how tall we want our cactus to be so let's see how many votes did our eyes get thirty five I'll let it go for a little bit longer but it looks like the seahorse I like eyes are gonna be the one that wins and then we can vote on how tall we want our cactus 
Because that just depends on how many rounds of single crochets we're making here. Oh my gosh, and then we want to know like, you know, where to place the eyes, what kind of mouth to make. We got a lot of voting to do. Oh my god, D Sunday said that they've been crocheting so much that their middle finger hurts. That's, <laughs> that's crazy. That's a lot of crochet. So I'm gonna do at least five rounds here of our body. Um, but I think we're gonna be making this probably taller than, well, I don't know. Maybe you guys want me to make a little tiny short cactus. That totally could be cool too. I think our three options should be short, medium, tall. But we'll vote on that in just a second. Oh, Isaac, you're from Mexico. Very cool. Hola. Handmade cut is from Florida. Oh, we got two Floridas. Little Treasure is also from Florida. Sarah's in the UK. Toronto. Man, I need to go visit you in Toronto. What are worry worms, Sarah? That sounds pretty cool. I wonder what a worry worm is. Oh my god, I want to go to New Zealand so bad too. New Zealand is a is high up on the list of locations I want to go to. I want to do an Oz, Australia New Zealand trip, and I really want to go to Korea. I really want. I mean, I you know, I want to go everywhere. <laughs> Julie thinks we should make it ridiculously tall, like a burb. Oh my gosh. Let's think, do we, how much of this green yarn do we need for our succulent? Oh, you know, we, we could go with the dark green for the succulent though too. So if we wanna go crazy tall, we can. Susan, you're from Taiwan? Oh, that's right, we were talking about for the shipping. Wow, dude, that's really, that's cool. I'd love to go to Taiwan. Big crochet community in Toronto. I did not know that. Costa Rica. Beautiful oceans. That's all I know about Costa Rica. Is you got pretty oceans. <laughs> Lithuania. You might be the first one in here from Lithuania, Quill. I've, I don't think I've ever seen someone say they're from Lithuania. Very cool record breaker hill simp how you been what are you crocheting today what's everybody crocheting today anybody else making a cactus i know susan said they're making a succulent by the way susan what do you think about that succulent pattern i'm like super duper proud of that succulent pattern i think it's so so cool honestly i think that's my favorite one from the season i don't know though it's hard to choose because the sunflower is so cute too and of course the cactuses are cute I do want to make, I do still need to finish the beginner cact or the customizable cactus pattern. It's like a whole PDF that I've been building. It's like, honestly, it's like 40 page PDF that I've been building. It's basically a book um, that explains how to make a customizable cactus with extra little sections. So it teaches like how to make different kinds of noses and arms and um, different kinds of flowers and stuff. But it's just been really, I've, I've had a really hard time this week, like just I've had a lot to do, so I'm trying to catch up. It's kind of been, you know, like sometimes you just have a week where you're just like sluggish. It's just, it's just hard to get up. I was having that. I'm feeling pretty good today though. Hello, Erica, how are you? Okay, I think we got enough votes on the eyes and you know what, we're like halfway through a round. Let's go ahead and finish this round and then we'll vote on um, should we vote on height or a mouth? I, you know what? Let's vote on height because I don't know where we're going to be placing the mouth, you know, because we might want to put the mouth really, really high up on the cactus or we might want to put it really, really low on the cactus. Also, I have a feeling I'm going to want to do another cactus later. So I don't know. I think... I'm thinking about doing like a secondary live stream on, um, maybe on like Instagram or something. 
for a cactus because I know I'm gonna just want to make more of these cacti. They're just really, really fun to make. Okay, that was actually, the, there's the end of that round. Okay, so we did one, two, three, four, five rounds so far. So now we're gonna vote on how tall to make the cactus because I need to know where to start and stop. So the options are, we're gonna, well, first let's end the vote on eyes. Oh, cool. Okay, so we, we're choosing the seahorse googly kind of eyes. Okay, so the vote on height. We can choose small, medium, or tall. I think that's what we're doing. Um, so the small is about this big. It's like really tiny. It's going to be like like barely poking up out of the, out of the pot, which honestly would be really, really cute because we could have the eyes like right on the top of it, like looking up. That'd be really cute. We could do the medium cactus, which is gonna be basically like the classic, um, this size will be like the medium size for our cactus. Or we can do the super duper tall cactus, which will be like that big, you know? So we can do tall, medium, or small. Ooh, okay, yeah, 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 that's a good idea, cat. Oh my God, you want it to be a gym lad? <laughs> that's great. Small, medium, tall. I should say short, king. <laughs> there we go. Okay, so we're voting on height now. Um, we voted on the eyes. I'm gonna vote. You know what I'm gonna vote. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say it, but. You know where I'm gonna vote. Wow, we're getting a lot of votes for short. I'm actually pretty surprised about that. That it does sound really, really cute. Oh my god, and we could do like some fun with the flowers too. It's a good idea. It's a good idea. I'm very curious of what wins this vote. Can this go away though? There we go. Okay. Yeah, right? Like just googly eyes, big like peeking out from the dirt exactly truly exactly small tool or small tool or small oh my god it is a 50 50 vote <laughs> i love it i love the hard decisions <laughs> What are the other things we want to talk about? Um, oh, you know what? The type of mouth. So I actually, I can do one more thing in the poll. Um, oh, actually, no, I can't. I can only do one poll at a time. Uh, little treasures. What type of yarn are we using? We're using our new Club Crochet yarn. Check it out. This is my new branded yarn. It's, you can't find it anywhere else. It's from me. Um, if you want to get it right now, the only way to get this yarn is by purchasing the crochet kits. Um, I might have like color packs available soon, but for now it's, it's just getting it in the annual pass or the seasonal kits. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm thinking about getting new ones pretty soon. I mean, new ways to purchase this yarn pretty soon. Uh, it's just, you know me, I've got like a million things I'm working on. So it's hard to, it's hard. I'm having a, you know what I mean. Um, can it have cat ears? Oh my God, Adriana, that is a great idea. Yeah, we're definitely gonna customize it in that way. We're gonna choose like, when we choose the flower, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna have a lot of votes today. A lot of votes. Yeah, we made, yeah. I just made my own yarn, D Sunday. It's like fresh, 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 fresh. Um, okay, what is winning here? Wow, short is winning. I love it. I, you know what? As a short dude, appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um, my friend Jimmy is actually on his way over right now. He's coming to stay for a couple of nights. He's the guy that does the website. He, he's like, uh, I call him on the on the site. We call him the website daddy. Uh, <laughs> and so he's gonna be here soon. I want him to come say hi on the chat, on the stream to just because. Like, I think, you know, he's like a hidden, he, no one ever knows like he's part of the, 
he's the one behind the scenes making everything happen. Um, do I have a favorite type of hook? Uh, honestly, it depends on the kind of yarn I'm using, Lene. Uh, I do really like clover crochet hooks, which are, um, I actually don't have them here, but these are, this is my crochet hooks that I got um, for my kits. Uh, and I actually bought like thousands of these. So I'm gonna add these to the website pretty soon too. So you could buy like these kit, these hooks. I actually, so when I started using this yarn, this new, uh, the new club crochet yarn, which I can go on and on about that by the way, but we'll talk about that later. Um, shout out to the shorties. Um, when I started using this new yarn, I started by using the clover crochet hook, which is like, let's see, do I have one close? No, I don't. It's in the other room. Oh well. I started using the clover crochet hook and I found that like the clover crochet hook worked, but the actually this crochet hook that I got specifically made for these kits um, worked really even better because it has like more of like a hook shape. But I actually don't, I mean, I don't dislike using this for other yarn, but I like the clover hook more for like Lily Sugar and Cream yarn than I do for this yarn. So it it honestly, the hook depends on the yarn. Um, this is my favorite kind of hook to use for this specific yarn, but I like clover crochet hooks for other kinds of yarn too. Um, yeah, there's my answer there. Um, okay, I think we got enough votes, right? 31, uh, 31 is enough, I think. Let's end that poll. Oh my God, it's so close though. We'll let it go to five minutes because it is only a four minute for that vote so far. So we'll see if there's anybody else that wants to vote um, because it's a really close, close race right now. Ugh, but vote now or forever hold your fleece. Um, as far as the height goes, because our pot, you know what, let's actually grab the pot from the other, from this cactus. Um, oh, actually, here's a secret. Some people might not know this about the cactus that we're making today, but it is going to have a little body with little legs and probably a little butt. You can kind of see his little butt crack there. Um, so there's a heads up. There's not really any dirt. It's just a little tiny body. It's just <laughs> it's so cute. Um, okay, so if we did want to make it short, actually, yeah, this is about the height for, for it if we want our hunky cactus to be short. And then it'd just be like, eyeball eyeball whatever kind of mouth we want to make whatever kind of additions and then a flower we can either do like a giant flower or we can do like even a little tiny flower with ears or something but that does seem pretty cute that does seem really really funny and then the little eyes and then like whatever we choose to do with our spikes sounds cute sounds cute okay ending the vote Respect for the small boys. Appreciated. From a net from a one small to another small. Highly appreciated. Cool. Alright, next vote we need is we're voting on mouth. What kind of mouth should we make? Um, we need to make this vote pretty quick. So we want um simple smile. Derpy, fat face, grumpy face, um, or kissy face. Oh, kissy actually does sound really, really cute though too. Okay, so vote on the mouth. Um, while you're doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and start adding our eyes. Um, I'm just gonna start with with our left eye and then go to our right eye. Um, we wanted to do eight millimeter eyes, so we actually don't want these ones. Um, we want, where did I keep my eight millimeter eyes? Um, by the way, bottles of eyes, available in the shop if you wanna support. That's another way to support the channel. Um, you know what? Oh, let's just use the eyes from the kit. Doi. Where is that? Where's the kit? Oh, here it is. them out already oh here they are 
Okay, so we're gonna use the eight millimeter eyes. Um, by the way, the seasonal kits come with like way more eyes than you need. They actually come with like 10 eyes of both sizes and you really only need like five eyes of one of the sizes. So I kind of thought it'd be nice to add extras of both eyes and, and yarn. Like you get way more yarn than you actually need. Cause it's, the idea is kind of like your, oh my God, the, my eight millimeter is literally right here. Such a dummy, but whatever. Let's go ahead and put them in here. Okay. So I know we're going to want our eyes like right on the top of the head. So we're going to have it like, if this is the end of our round, I think like, like somewhere like here and then something like maybe like over to here. So he's like looking directly up. Which means we probably aren't gonna wanna have like a gigantic, I mean, we could want a gigantic flower, but I don't know. Um, what kind of face are we making? I think I want, I know which one I want. That derpy fat face is getting a lot of votes. I'm surprised, that's not the one I voted for, but I'm totally cool with that. Um, okay, so if I do wanna make the derpy fat face, I need to add that before I do the eyes though, because that that's going to basically dictate where the eyes are going to go. So, hmm. Hey Cheryl, I'm doing well. How are you? Hope you're having a good day. Akari, welcome. How are you? How's your sister? Um, okay. Lombok. Where's Lombok? TT, where's Lombok? I've never heard of Lombok before. Amas, hello, Amas. Mickey Cricky, how are you? Oh my God, Mickey Cricky, what did you think of the succulent? By the way, if you don't know who Mickey Cricky is, uh, she's in the chat right now. Mickey Cricky is like my longest supporter. She has been around since like the beginning of Club Crochet, probably even way before that. Um, so shout out to Mickey Cricky. Thank you so much for all your support. I really appreciate it. Uh, and I really appreciated your email the other day. It warmed my heart. Thank you so much. Um, but I, I was very, very curious of what you thought of the new succulent pattern because I just, I don't know. Once I published it, I was like, I wonder what Mickey Cricky's gonna think about this. Uh, I hope you liked it though. We were torn between derpy and grumpy. Okay, we got 40 votes. I think that's enough to call it for the mouth. We got a derpy face, beautiful. Derpy fat face. All right, I love it. We're gonna use a little bit of this black yarn or black thread and get started on that derpy fat face. We also are gonna need to vote on the type of spikes that we wanna add. Do we wanna do like classic spikes? Do we wanna do um, loose spikes? We'll, go, we'll vote on that in just a second. Let me go ahead and figure out the face real quick first. So I think what we'll do is we'll go I don't remember how I do this. Up and there. I think we wanna go, I, I think actually, I'm gonna remove the eyes real quick because they're gonna distract me as I try to make the mouth. So I think we'll go like, we'll go down like that. And then we can pull over from it from the inside. So I'm thinking like, we go like this. And then we go over to where we want the other side of the mouth like over to here actually over to here I think would be better like that so basically what I'm doing is I'm creating two lines on either side first I actually think that first line might be a little crooked yeah that that's not gonna work let's do it again let's start from this side so we're gonna go here and then go straight down to here and then we'll go across to where we want the other side of the mouth. Let's start here. And then we'll go up to here. Like that. Gotta make sure we don't accidentally pull this thread out. And then we wanna go up from the center, right like this, go around this side. I guess we'll pull it a little tighter. 
and then I'm just gonna go all the way over like that. Oh my God, look how, that's wonderful, love that. And we'll go all the way over to like this side, and then we're gonna go straight through the center of, right here, if I can. Oh my god, look at this little chub. <laughs> That's gonna be so funny. And then and then imagine, and then like their eyes are gonna be like right here, and then right here, right? And he's gonna be like me. <laughs> it's gonna be great. <laughs> oh my god, Jules is gonna think this is so funny. I might give this to Jimmy when he gets here. Oh my god, Twiz, thank you! Okay, wait, hold on, I wanna read that. Comment, Twiz. Okay. Oh yeah, that is exactly the kind of fat face we're looking for. There's our derpy fat face. I think I want it to be maybe pulled a little bit less. Yeah, there we go. And then this side, a little bit more. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Did I double knot it already or do I only do one knot? No, I, I didn't double. Cut it. Okay, so there's the mouth. All right. Uh, then we need our eyes. What happened to the other eye? Oh, there it is. Pulled over. Okay, so the eyes are gonna go like this. I've gotta add the white that we agreed on. And then like right here is what I'm thinking. Oh my God, that's like actually the perfect spots for it. He looks so silly. We probably should add a tongue, right? Um, Twiz said, I just want to, I just want to say, uh, I just want to read this comment because it, it's really sweet and it's really nice. Twiz, first off, congratulations on finishing the succulent. I'm so glad you liked it. I'm really, really proud of that pattern. Um, so I'm, I'm so glad you liked it. Uh, but they said the yarn from the kit is amazing. Their favorite cotton yarn by far. Actually, the only one they tried and liked. That is so cool. Thank you so much, Twiz. I really, I totally agree. I think it's like, I'm really, really, really pleasantly surprised with how, like, how nice this yarn is. I'm super duper excited to keep using it. And I just got a huge box of it um, sent to me. Like, it's huge. I've got like 10 balls of every single color now, so I get to just replace all my yarn with it. I'm really excited. Um, okay, yeah, we need to add a derpy lem tongue. I totally agree, Ruby. Noah, hey Noah. <laughs> okay, so we need to add the white on the outside of the eyes too. So I think what we can do here, I think we can go ahead and lock these eyes in pretty confidently. I'm not too worried about that. So we'll go ahead and do that real quick. Okay, so there's our eyes locked in. Now we need the white for the outside of the eyes. So I only have a little bit left of our white yarn, but that's okay. Just cause I used, what did I use the white yarn on a lot of? We made something. Oh, maybe it was the beginning cactus we made. I don't know. What's up? Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and do, I think the way I'm gonna have to do this, this is a really, so actually here's a little, here's a little tutorial for you, how I do this eye thing. So what I can do here is see the stitch right next to where that eye is? I'm gonna go right in between that stitch right here, just on one side of the eye, pull that through and then pull the yarn out and then thread the other side of the yarn and then I'm gonna go around and then down and then go under where the eye is right here. Pull it on the inside. You gotta be really careful as you apply this, but once it's applied, it's good to go. But just like that, there you go. And then it adds like, it's kinda, it's weird to look at when there's two eyes, but when it's by itself, you can see how it's like, a, almost like a cartoon eye because it just adds the white on the outside of the eye. Super cute, okay. So I really like this side. So I'm gonna go ahead and double knot that here. It won't come undone. It's very, like once it's there, it's there. So 
go ahead and double knot that. And the hardest part with doing this part of the, this version of eyes is you got to try to make it match on both sides. But that's pretty good. Okay. Oops, there we go. Before I go to the other side of the eye, um, I do want to do a vote because we are going to need to vote next on how to make the spikes, which is actually going to be really, really important. So here's our options for spikes. One, two, and three. Option one is going to be loose yarn spikes. That's how we did it for this cactus here that we made actually before the season started. So that's going to be this guy. Um, loose yarn spikes looks like this. It's really cute like, and it's very easy to do. We can add it and subtract it really easily. We got the X stitch spikes that are going to be like this. It's a little bit more complicated, but it is very, very cool. Like, like look at that. That looks just really cool. And I think it would look really good on, the, on our cactus that we're making right now. And then the third option for spikes, I call it the line spikes. I think that's what I called it. Line spikes. Looks like this. So we do lines and then we add the X stitch spikes over it. So those are going to be our vote for what kind of spikes to make. Let me go ahead and get that in the chat right now. Start a poll. What kind of spikes? Loose spikes. X stitch spikes. Or wine spikes. There we go. Okay, so go ahead and vote on what kind of spikes to, to make. Loose stitch spikes, that are gonna be this. X stitch spikes or line spikes on the right here. Those are your vote options for our cactus. Okay, and as you all vote on that, I'm gonna make the other eye to make them both as cute as this first one. And then also make, we need to make a little mlem tongue. Um, I'm gonna choose that spikes, I think. And then we'll also need to vote on a kind of flower after that too. Um, that's right, I wanna go from the top in. First part goes right here next to the eye. Right, yeah. And then the next side, red our yarn. Oh, I should have voted on what color spikes too. Do we wanna do black spikes or white spikes? We'll vote on that in a second once we got a good, pretty solid idea on what kind of spikes you want me to add. Okay. All right, so we wanna make this the same way. So we need to be very careful as we pull this in. Try to mimic the other side. Uh, that's not enough. See, that? that's not enough. We need it to be more more obvious. So let's go ahead and pull this side out. And we'll reapply that side. Yeah, I'm trying to do a tutorial twiz on how to make these kind of like how to make more different kinds of eyes. So that might be coming out soon, hopefully. Um, but I will keep you updated on that. So I really want it on the opposite side of the eye, like that. There we go. Yeah, that's much better. That's much, much better. Oh, that's so cute. Oh my God. I want to like, I want this. <laughs> I want you to have the best life ever, little cactus. I want you to go to university. <laughs> I'm gonna start <laughs> raising money for this cactus. <laughs> All right. I'm not gonna, I'm trying not to tighten this too tight because if I pull it too tight, it'll go into the eye and it'll, it won't look right, you know? So I'm trying to like be very gentle with how I double knot this. Like that. Very nice. Okay. Eye is attached. Pretty good. All right, next we wanna add a little tongue. Now, technically there's no pink yarn with the crochet kits, but obviously I do have some pink yarn to use. 
So I'm actually going to unwrap this little ball of pink yarn. This is from my dinosaur crochet kit, so kind of cool. Kind of cool. And I'm just going to use some from the inside instead of the outside. Because you can pull from either. And I'm just going to embroider on a little tiny tongue. Oh, congratulations, Kat. That's really congratulations. That is amazing. That, that must have taken a lot of work, so you should be really proud of yourself. I remember when I finished university, I was really like, I was just like, I did it, you know? Okay. So you want a mlem tongue. We're gonna go, let's try just down to here. And I think I'm just gonna like basically keep embroidering on this tongue by like just doing the same thing over and over so it gets th thicker and thicker so we're gonna go back up like that and then down into the same stitch i think three times might be the best maybe four though one two i mean that's pretty good Let's try one more. Like that. Let's see how this looks. Do we like that tongue? Kind of looks like he's chewing bubble gum. Actually, it does look like a tongue though. I don't know, how do we feel about that? Yellow tongue would have been cute. Interesting. Uh-oh, something went wrong. Tegan can't hear me. Can anybody else hear me? There's just a Tegan problem. Um, can I make a tutorial on how to invent your own pattern? Um, yeah, I do want to do a whole series of design your own patterns. Uh, so I'm, I'm working on that. I've got like, bas I've got like 10 scripts written for that. So, um, I am working on something for that actually. Okay. We like the tongue. Ruby likes the tongue. D Sunday is obsessed. I love it. Okay. rainbow okay cool all right we like this tongue we're gonna go ahead and double knot it then and go with that and then we are gonna need to do one more round of single crochets to add our feet because obviously they're gonna need feet okay we got our tongue we got our eyes um, we will need to vote on a flower. We still are voting on the spikes. Actually, we voted on the spikes. Let's go ahead and end that vote. Uh, let's see, what else do we want to vote on? Um, oh, you know what? Let's vote on the flower too. So our options for flowers are, oh wait, no, no, I'm sorry. Let's vote on the color of spikes. What color spikes? Our options are gonna be white, um, black. Um, I guess we could try doing a rainbow. I do have my rainbow yarn. I just don't, I don't know if that's gonna look very good. I don't know, like, you know, like that might look kind of strange. Like red and green and Yeah, I think we should just stick with white or black stripes, keep it simple. And then we can, cause, cause the flower, like whatever color we choose for the spikes is gonna really take away from the the flower on the top of his, on the top of their head, you know? And these, I don't, just don't, I just don't know if I like these colors on this green. So I think I'm just gonna stick with white or black spikes. Cause, oh, oh, or, or dark green actually, we can choose dark green too. So let's do that. Yeah. So we're gonna vote on one of those three color spikes. Um, 
we can get the pride going when it comes to the flower though. But yeah, I do like, I do really, really, really like this guy's face a lot. Okay, well while you guys are voting on the color for the spikes, I'm gonna go ahead and make our final round of the body and then sew it, like finish it up uh, because we don't need it to be open for adding the spikes. So we can go ahead and just add the feet and sew everything, stuff it and sew it closed. And then we can add our spikes afterwards. Um, how far apart do I want my feet to be? I can't remember. Oh, that's wrong. Mm. I found a mistake in my pattern. Ooh, Cheryl is making crocheting with rainbow yarn that has holographic tinsel in it. That's amazing. How does that work? Oh, you want feet really close together? Oh my God, that could be pretty cute. Like right here and here. That's pretty close. Or we could do, yeah, okay. I'll try that. I'll try that cat. I mean, I don't want to do it too close together because then it'll look like, you know. So we'll try, we'll try a little bit further away. I can always undo this though. There's one foot. Oh, I didn't do it close enough. Because the next foot's gonna be here. And then I think it's gonna look like it's like to the left. Yeah, so let's do... <laughs> you wanted to give it little boots? <laughs> Hold on, that actually is a pretty good idea. One second. Yeah, see, D Sunday gets what I mean. We can't add the feet too close together. Or else it'll start to look like a, um, you know. <laughs> okay, let, but let's try right here really quick. And if we don't like it, we'll undo it and we'll go again. This yarn's pretty, um, forgiving so if we want to like go back start again go back start again it really doesn't doesn't hurt the yarn which is nice two three four and then i'll add my second leg here and and then we'll we'll see how this looks i think this is as close together as i'm willing to go with though cat okay, let's do a few stitches Get away from that. And then look at it. That's pretty good, actually. I I do like that. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Because it's closer than I was. I was going to make it go, like, out here. So that's definitely closer than I was going to make it. And it'll be great with those little butt in the back. Yeah, it, yeah, Julie, we're all thinking it. <laughs> Janae, uh, yes, this will be available to watch later. I, I always leave the live streams up for, um, to be rewatched. So don't worry about that. Uh, for the contest, am I okay with needle felted details or should it all be crochet? Absolutely. 
Ruby. Yeah, be as creative as you want. Use any kind of methods that you want. I mean, the body, like the main point is it's supposed to be crocheted. So make it crocheted, but adding details with needle felt. Yeah, for sure. I'm like super excited to see what, what you do with that. Um, okay. That's pretty good. Ooh, I don't know who Jeremy Schaefer is. But I, I would be interested in doing like little tiny Zoom call things. I was actually thinking of doing a special live stream for people that have an annual pass on the site. Um, to be like, you know, if you have an annual pass, it's just like a personal live stream with me and we'll do like a Zoom. Because um, there's not that many people that have annual passes. So it's kind of like easier to manage. So I've been kind of thinking about that. Um, but yeah, if, you, if you're in the chat right now, you have an annual pass. Is that something you might be interested in? Let me know. Um, okay, so I think that's pretty good so far. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and close it up now and then sew it closed. Uh, and what kind of color of spikes is winning right now? Ooh, it's a pretty close call between green and white. I like that, okay. I'll leave that uh, vote up though for a little longer because I still have um, some time before we need to add the spikes. that down one two what else we're going to need to vote on um we're going to need to vote on the type of flower to add at the top we're going to need to vote on let's see what else are we going to need oh the t color of the pot that we're going to be adding um Let's see, is there anything else that I'm not thinking about, guys, that we need to vote on? Oh, what their name is going to be. Obviously, we're going to need to start. You know what? Actually, I'm going to do. Let me finish this round, but I'm going to start the Q&A so that you can start um, submitting name suggestions for this. And then I'll choose my four favorite names and then we'll vote on which of the four favorites is your favorite to name our tag this year. That'll be fun. Okay, so that's that round done. Oh my God, this guy is so cute. This might be one of my favorite cactuses so far. Okay, let me really quick. Uh, I'm gonna start a Q and A and say, uh, what would you name our cactus? Okay, so there's a Q and A now also on top of the vote where you can go in and ask me what you would want to uh, like you basically can put the name suggestion in that q a um if you're having a difficult time making that work uh just put it in the chat and ask someone else to add it for you and then if someone adds that name in your place make sure to put who named the cactus also um you know what i mean like so cooper for example if you go through the chat and like someone's like can you please add this to the thing but also just add it yourself if you go into the q a you should be able to add it yourself um, just because, you know, we want to, we want to give you credit if you come up with the name. Oh yes, Tegan. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Like first, what kind of flower or like if we even want to add a flower at all. Good question. Good, good point. Okay. We're decreasing it down. Uh, and then after this round, I'll start stuffing it a little bit. Oh. I think we got, I think we might have a Jimbo. No, we don't. Wah, wah. Oh, I saw someone said they made my um, my bonimals. They've been making frogs. That is so cool. I love that. I mean, if this guy is like small enough and we have enough time, maybe we can make a little frog for him. Frogs are actually an alternative pattern for these kits. So every one of the every one of our um, 
seasonal kits also because it includes the membership you know like if you purchase the seasonal kit it comes with like three months of membership if you purchase the annual pass it's like a full full year of memberships um oh cory the cactus is a good name stilton that is a good name also hi stilton welcome to the chat i haven't seen you before and is your picture like a mix between a cat and a koala <laughs> that's super cute actually that's an animal that should exist um what was i saying oh yeah because it comes with the seasonal the seasonal kits come with like a membership uh i also let you know which alternative patterns from the library that the kit can make so if you if you, like for example you purchased that a seasonal kit and you're like i don't really want to make cactuses i don't know why you wouldn't but if that is the case then i go okay here are other patterns you can make instead of the cactus you could make the tortoise you can make the sea turtle you can make frogs you can make like you know what i mean you get what i mean okay There we go. All right. Through. Okay, now we want to stuff it up and then we can start actually adding our spikes. Um, I'm going to use a pencil, by the way, to stuff the back. Uh, pro tip, if you haven't been in these live streams before and you haven't heard me say this like a bazillion times, um, using a pencil to help stuff things up is very helpful um, just use the eraser end of a pencil um, obviously you can use the back of your crochet hook too but actually the back of these new crochet hooks is really tough to stuff up um, it's not too bad but it's not the best because it's just like a it's just like a thicker handle so it's kind of hard to use for things like that um, I'm also stuffing it obviously with a bunch of extra threads and stuff Oh, I'm pretty sure Jimmy's here. I think I just heard him parking. So we'll have a we'll have a guest appearance probably soon on the stream. You stuff it way earlier Sunday? Interesting. Oh my God, MS Weasel, thank you so much. I am really like, I again, I know I've said it like a million times in this stream, but I really think that the succulent pattern is top tier. Top tier one of my patterns, for sure. All right. Ooh. Okay, we don't want to overstuff them, but you know, we still got some work to do. Okay, fix our eyes a little bit. Wow, that is, that is like an ultra cute cactus. Especially when he's like peeking out from under a pot. Oh my God, it's gonna be so cute. Okay, the other thing we need to vote on is um, flower, so flower type, uh, and then we'll vote on flower color and stuff. So uh, before I sew it closed and add our little butt, um, let's go ahead and start the vote on that. Um, oh, what kind of, wait, so I forgot, what kind of spikes are we making? Oh, the X spikes, that's right. So we're making X stitch spikes, we're making them in white, um, yeah, of course, Sarah, of course he's gonna have a butt. Of course he's gonna have a butt. Okay, let's see, we got the X stitch spikes, white, we need to vote on, okay, then we need to vote on what kind of flower? Okay, what type of flower? Mini flower? Classic flower or um, bulb 
flower or no flower. Okay, so. It has been asked in the chat. Let me show you what the difference of all these flowers are though. So we've got mini flowers, which are gonna be like this. These are mini flowers. We've got the, what do I call them? Classic flowers. A classic flower is like this. It's kind of like a daisy. Or our bulb flower, which is gonna be a big guy like this. So those are your three options for flowers. Mini, classic, bulb. Got it? Or no flower. You can also vote for no flower. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and vote on that. Uh, obviously, I've got a while to get to the flowers, but you know, go ahead and vote. I'm gonna vote for, I actually think I'm gonna vote for that one. What What's gonna be cute is we'll just have, we'll probably just have one little flower at the top uh, and then we'll vote. Once you guys vote on the type of flower, we'll vote on the color of the flower and then go from there. Tegan, can you tell, can I tell what your picture is? Oh, it's a, is it a, is it a, is it a, is it a hamster or a guinea pig? You know what? Actually, you're not the only one with that in your as your picture. Uh, uh, Mickey Cricky was in the chat earlier, and they have, they also they they have this really they have this really cute um, hamster. They post about it on Facebook all the time. It's really cute. <laughs> yes, cat. I hardcore agree. Okay, I'm gonna sew this closed and then add our little butt crack. And then I'll begin the process, the long laborious process of adding all of our spikes. What is my cat's name? My cat's name is Jimbo. Jimbo, this is, this is a, uh, I don't think he's in his spot right now, is he? Let's see, no, he's not. But this is what he looks like, kinda. He's very cute. He's a very cute good boy. Kirby the guinea pig. Oh my God, that's so cute. Sewn and closed. Yeah, Jimmy actually just drove down from Sacramento. So he just did a long drive. So we'll give him a little bit of time. He might, he might also be a little camera shy. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. But we're sewn closed. Next, we want to add our little butt. I'm gonna use just our extra black thread that we have from making the face for that. Out here and from there maybe? No. I'm gonna make him have a tall butt crack. <laughs> all right, like this, and then all the way down, and then out on the other side. Oops. Perfect. <laughs> that is a long butt. But you know what? Once we pull it tight, it closes in. It's gonna be really cute. Like that. One double knot and then two. We pulled it so tight that it actually gave him cheeks. Love that. Okay. Look at that. He's actually got little butt cheeks. Oh my gosh, this could actually be a frog. It looks kind of like a frog right now. Um, but let's let's fix that by adding spikes. Big butt, so what? <laughs> You're funny, Ruby. Could I please tell you a story about crochet? You have an idea for a pattern of a burrito cat? Um, a story about crochet. Hmm. A 
first thing that comes to mind is my story about how I gave my first partner a crocheted, uh, oopsies, didn't mean to hit the camera, a crocheted heart, and then they, they like ripped a hole in it and gave it back to me uh, when we broke up. It was really sad. I don't really want to tell the whole story though. It kind of bumps me out. Uh, but that is a, that is a story. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna go ahead and start adding our spikes. How do I do this again? Oh yes, I remember. We'll go up from here. There we go. I think I have too much white yarn, but whatever. Oh wow, do you hear Jimbo? Wow, what's up, buddy? We got Jimbo. Oh, Phoebe's in here. Hi, Phoebe. Come here. Come here. You want to say hi to the chat? We got a surprise appearance by Phoebe. Come here, Phoebe. Okay, I'm going to get Phoebe. She's very shy. So, so be quiet. Phoebe's too shy. She's running away from me. She doesn't want to. She's like, no, I know what you're gonna do. You're gonna pick me up, and then I'm gonna be like, hey. Okay, wait, I don't remember how far apart each of these spikes are supposed to be. I do one, two rounds between. Yes, okay, I remember. So one, two rounds between. When is Jimbo having his album release oh phoebe is my other cat that is very cute but very shy she's a little shy cutie jimbo's album is uh totally on um soundcloud right now yeah he's totally like a really good soundcloud uh artist i actually do have i think i sang for you guys once my my cat rap that i have two and there you know we're not gonna do that though we're gonna go one and we'll start our next round of spikes down from here hey steven how you doing oh the wrestling the cats are wrestling right now I think they're locked in here so that Jimmy can keep going in and out and grabbing his stuff. Uh-oh. Did I hear a hiss? I don't know if they're getting along right now. One, two. Oh, can you hear that? You can't hear it, can you? Yeah, yeah, Jimbo's a SoundCloud rapper. And then we're gonna go down to here, up to here. Okay. What? We don't need spikes going too far down. So we can start our next round up. What, buddy? Okay, one second.
I split them up. They are, they're not getting along right now, though. Um, okay. Let's see. We want one stitch apart. And one stitch down. So, I'll go here. I'll go here. Go like this. Burrito cat! Ah! I pulled the wrong end. song is very chill. Jimbo is the Eminem to Phoebe's Rihanna. <laughs> do you want to hear uh do you want to hear Phoebe's feature in the Jimbo rap that I have? Hold on. They're going crazy right now. Actually, we might be able to see them if I go like this. Are they? No. I'm letting him free from the room because they're not, they're not having, they're not, yeah, the kids are fighting. They're bullying. Jimbo's, Jimbo can be a bit of a bully. Not going to lie. Um, okay. So the Phoebe part of our, of the Jimbo rap is my favorite part of the rap and it goes, Yo, my name Phoebe, when nobody see me, I crawl up a lot on your lap. I'm taking a nap until something's give me the crap. Like, I'm over there, I'll show you my belly and scratch. I'm over there, then over here, because I always be running with nothing to fear. You better be chiller, you better stay clear, because my claws always sharp and your legs always sheer. Whew. So, yeah, there's an entire rap for that. It's, it's a three-minute rap that I wrote. <laughs> How great is that? One day I'll have the guts to do a whole, to record it all. Hey, Takoyaki. Just popping in to say hi. Well, thanks for joining, dude. You'll do your best to join the next one. Awesome. Well, I hope I see you there. And thanks for joining this one. So look at this. We have a perfect X spike that's right next to his, like, like right, right next to their cheek. It's going to be very cute. We're still on, oh, oh my God, we're still on the Jimbo cam. Oh my God. I'm so sorry. <laughs> my bad, I was like crocheting for a while there too. Thank you, Cooper, I'm sorry about that. Look, I added like two spikes while I was off camera. That's funny. Um, okay, so that's one cheek. We'll do the next one. Right here. The rap starts with, spread my eagle, I'm licking my butt on your bed. <laughs> Better pet me, or you know that I will shed. When I'm sleeping, I'll come up and bite you on the head. Yeah, I'm so cute and fluffy. <laughs> you heard what I said, and it goes, Jimbo. Okay, that's a good, that's a good X spike right there. We'll do our next one. Actually, we're probably gonna do one like right in the middle of his forehead, which will be pretty cute. Yep, I'm basically a man of many talents, Hill Simp. Man of many talents, I can rap, I can crochet, uh, I can do a kickflip on a skateboard. I'm, I'm basically like way cool. <laughs> also, probably the most humble. <laughs> yes, 
as every rapper often is. Okay, there's our next one. This is coming together though. I'm liking that. I'm liking the spikes. Oh, that's right. We were voting on flower. I wonder what everybody voted on. Down there. We're gonna go up two, one, two, and then do one right here. Or is that like Eh, that's actually not bad. Right under the like under the chin. Let's see how that looks. I might want to undo this one, but it might be kind of cute. his right on top of his forehead like right here I think too oh thanks Janae oh that's right we're ending the poll for the flower Ooh, I love that you guys voted mini flower. It's gonna be so cute. Okay, wait, we need, we'll need to vote on what color flower next. Oh, that's good, yeah, that's nice. That's a good spike. To here. Forehead spike. It's like he's got a little target. Okay, where do I want the next one to start? I know we want one down here. Actually, you know what? We, we're gonna want another cheek one, right? So we're definitely gonna want one right here. So let's go ahead. I'm just gonna go ahead and get that one started. I know that I want one for symmetry reasons. Oh, since this is recorded, whose birthday? Oh, happy birthday, Takayaki. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, Takoyaki. Happy birthday. To you. Alright, we're saying what color flower? Oh, uh, wait. No. Rainbow. Um, what's the last color we should do for the flower? Optional. Red? Let's do red. Okay. So those are your votes for what color flower to make. Um, and then everybody shout out to Mr. Takoyaki. Happy birthday to him. Is that a good place for that? Let's see. Yeah, I think we'll go like this. I think we want it like... I hope you had a great day, Takoyaki. 
And I hope you have a great week. And I hope you have a great year. I hope you have a great life. I hope everything about everything is great for you. And happy birthday to Noah's dad. <laughs> This is looking pretty good. Actually, no, I want it to go over this side. And then up to there. Up to there. How have I found Tears of the Kingdom so far? I am obsessed absolutely cat i love it um i just got the i just got a very important tool yesterday um it's actually the first thing that i've done that jules hasn't done because jules is kicking butt in that game she has done like legitimately everything she plays it so much more than me I'm like, I want to play. She's like, but I'm playing. <laughs> Which is fine. Whatever. She's just done like, she's done three of the dungeons already. I've only done one. But I keep getting distracted with doing other stuff. Hi, Leela. How are you? How's your day going? I think her cactus is looking pretty good with all these X's. Up to here. Down to there. And then we'll do the next one got to give a little bit of space between these ones so I might do with one here and then one down there yeah let's do that so we'll go up to here <laughs> D Sunday's playing yarn chicken you're gonna you got this you totally got this I absolutely believe in you Leela what are you crocheting what was the, if you're not crocheting right now what was what are you working on what's your last thing that you crocheted What's the thing you want to crochet the most? <gasps> Cat, you already got done. You did all the dungeons and got the sword. Oh my God. You're crazy, dude. I, so I just got the sword. That's what I was, that's what I was saying. I was like, what's this? <laughs> and then I was like, oh my God. Hi Jimbo. Hi, buddy. What's up? Let's go ahead and add. We'll do a spike right here. What? Do you want to say hi to the chat? Don't don't eat the yarn. Do not eat the yarn. It is no. It's inedible. Hi, bud. Wow. Tell us how you really feel. Yeah. Oh. Anything else? No? Is that all? Yeah? Okay. Well, if you think about it, you tell us later, okay? Yeah. What? Jimbo is, is so bummed. He's having such a tough day. Beating up Phoebe and trying to get as much attention as possible. Huh. Yeah. What? It's Jimbo hug time. That's what that's what they say. Come here. Come here. Hey. They want to say hi to you. Oh. Hi. Here, let's 
go, let's open this up and we'll switch to this cam really quick so people can say hi to you. Yeah. Tell everybody how you, how you feel about who, who's your favorite politician? That's right. None of them. You don't like politics. <laughs> what's your, um, what's your favorite number, Jimbo? Oh, really? 16? Ah, don't bite me. Why not? Thank you. That's very sweet. Much nicer. Is that nice? Okay. All right. Bye, bud. Great job, buddy. You're so talented. Now I've got Jimbo fur everywhere. On my face. Okay. Hello. Cactus. Okay, dab it there. Um, I think we just need one more spike, like right somewhere right up here, right? Maybe like right there. Yeah, right there. Okay, so last spike. And then we can add, what are we adding after that, bud? <laughs> Jimbo's fur is getting in our crochet. Uh, after that, we wanna add our flower and then we wanna make the pot. Um, oh, that's what we should vote on next. So let me finish this up. And then while I'm making the flower, we can vote on what color pot we wanna make for our cactus. There we go. Um, up to here. There, there we go. And then I'm going to take this all the way down to Jimbo. <laughs> He's like, what? It was 33 degrees Celsius. How? I don't know how hot that is in, in Fahrenheit. To be honest, I'm I'm a dumb American that cannot make the didn't make the change. But it is currently like, hey, buddy, you're just trying to get attention. I know, but you need to chill. Um, <laughs> um, it was. Let's see, how hot was it today, Jimbo? Actually, it was pretty cold today. I think it was like 65 today. Which I know some people are going, like, that's cold. California, that's, that ain't warm. Maybe, maybe in the 50s, maybe like 59. Just stuffing that spike in there. Back into the bum. All right. Oh my, God, my friend's kids came over the other day and I was showing them all my crocheted things and obviously I have butts on like everything that's crocheted and they kept going like, why do you have a butt? <laughs> What's a butt crack? And I kept, I taught them like three words for butt. Not on purpose, they just kept asking questions. Okay, our cactus is looking like hella cute. Really, really cute. Okay, so next we need, whoa, 90 degrees, 33 degrees Celsius is 91 degrees Fahrenheit? That's crazy. That feels so weird. <laughs> um, all right, rainbow, of course, rainbow flower. Why did I think anything else would be voted on? Uh, and then next is pot, the pot color. Uh, what color pot? We got blue, beige, pink, or what What other color could we do the pot in, Jimbo? Wow. Yeah. Oh, yellow. We could do yellow. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Vote for the pot color. In the meantime, we're making the, the 
We're making the flour. Yes. Because. Because we want to add a rainbow flower. What did you do with the rainbow yarn? Here it is. Okay, wait. I need to get somewhere in the yarn where it starts to change colors. There we go. How do I make the mini flower, Jimbo? Do you remember? Let's pull up the pattern for the beginner cactus and so that way it's easier for us to find out. Because I can't, I can't remember. Start the pattern. Hey, would you stop that? Ow, that's my foot. Careful. Okay. Chain two, one, two. Are you serious, dude? He's like fighting with a paper bag. <sighs> what are we gonna do with you, bud? I think I want that color. And then chain one and then slip some four. Okay. There's one. And then we want five of these. Okay, so chain two, one, two. Okay. Hmm, I found another mistake in the patterns. Oh man, this flower's looking very one dimensional right now. Because the colors don't change fast enough. We might need to make a couple of these till we get the perfect rainbow flower. Oh, here we go. We're getting blue. That's good. Good start. Okay. We got red and green in there, but it's kind of looking a little not rainbowy, in my opinion. We might need, yeah. I think we should make a couple of these. It only takes a second to make one, anyhow. One. There's one flower. It's okay. It's okay. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. It's kind of a little muddy though. Just because we had in the yarn, we had like places where the colors changed weird and stuff. So we'll try this again. See if we can't get a better color of flower. Because I mean, that's not bad, but it just doesn't look really rainbowy. It doesn't scream rainbow to me. One flower on the top of the head is gonna be so cute though. Um, let's start here. This will be nice because we'll start with yellow. Jeez, man, you are so destructive right now. It's rubbing <laughs> all over everything that I have. <laughs> You're so cute. So destructive. One, two, double. No. He wants to fight the rainbow yarns. He's biting my feet. We're giving them a play by play of your destructiveness, my little dude. See you later, Steven. Thanks for joining. Chain one, slip stitch. Chain two, double. stitch whoa buddy what are you doing uh oh uh oh no Ooh, stop 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 jeez can you guys hear me can you hear me okay he he got he, he tried to get himself tangled up in the in the cords and then 
almost unplugged everything. Hey, oh my god, you're wild right now, dude. Okay, we need to, we need to do something about you. Hey, here, ready? Yeah, we're gonna get this, ready? Go get it. Oh my god. He almost unplugged everything. <laughs> So close to uh, just a disaster. Okay, how do we like this flower? Okay, we got two flowers now. I mean, we might end up just like, honestly, sewing on multiple flowers, but we'll see. One, two. Which flower do we like more? Flower number one. That one I think looks more rainbowy to me. It doesn't have the blue in it, but it does have the yellow, which is nice. And then we have the blue one, which is also kind of fun. But this one's kind of a little muddy. We could do both and have them like this. We kind of did that already on one of them, but you know, it doesn't look bad. I don't know, which, which flower do you like? The one with yellow or the one with blue? I can go ahead and make one more. A flower stack. Oh, we can do that. Oh, hi, mom. My mom is in the chat. Hello, mom. <laughs> My mom likes the yellow one more than the blue one. Let's try one more and see if we can't get a third option. running out of rainbow yarn though well this one looks like it's gonna be mostly that muddy color we'll get to yellow we might get to a little bit of red why don't we do it like right here now if we do it early enough we might be able to get some blue in our first stitch We like the ones with yellow. Okay, like everybody likes the one with yellow. Okay, cool, cool. That's good to know. Uh, we are gonna try one more. This one probably will have some yellow in it, but it's worth a shot. One, two, buckle my shoe. I'm hoping to get some yellow, some red, Oh, there we go. Okay, we're getting yellow. We got a little bit of blue in it too. This third one might be our third time's the charm. There we go, a little bit of yellow. We got two more flower petals to make, so it looks like we might be able to get to our red. Oh, we are. Stitch one, slip stitch one. Okay, I think this one's gonna be the one we're gonna go with. Chain two. Okay, I think I like this one the most personally, but let's see what you guys think. Cause it's got, it's got almost every color in it. Yeah, this one's way more rainbowy, which is nice. Okay, so again, we got one, hold on, I'll hold them up. One, two, we don't really like two. And then three, I think, I mean, I don't even think it's, it's barely even a question. It's three, right? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go three. Three looks good. It's the most rainbowy. It does have this like weird blue dot there, but honestly, it kind of looks good. All right, Tegan, thanks so much for joining. Sorry this took so long. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and sew our flower on the top and then we can get working on our crochet pot and then that'll be the end of it. And the pot will be pretty quick and easy knit too. So this one's gonna go right through the center. Come on to right here. Like 
that. And come on, sew it on just a little bit more. Hey, buddy, you're back. You're back in here to cause more problems or what? Yeah, why don't you keep eating the cord? Great idea. Love this. I love what's going on. I'm being sarcastic, Jimbo. I'm not happy with this. That is my feet. <sighs> Swear to God, you're like a three-year-old, man. Stack them? I don't think stacking them is going to look very good. No, that looks weird. I like the one. It looks so... It, it just looks like... He's just like, hello. I love that. I love that. This this guy is so cute. Okay, what color are we making the pot? By the way, how many people have put in a name? Oh, there's a lot of names. Awesome. And hey, uh, another shout out. Like this video if you, if you haven't yet. Um, if this video gets enough likes, we're going to do a giveaway next live stream. So... Uh, and then another shout out, next live stream is next week, um, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We're going to be starting to make our bonsai tree. It's going to be a two-parter. Um, obviously, I'll talk more about that at the end of this live stream, too. Okay. So, let's end the vote for the pot. Ooh, it was close, though. But most people thought we should make it a blue pot. I love it. Let's do it. And then let's go open the Q&A. Wait, how do I open the Q&A again? Oh, here we go. Oh yeah, we got a good amount of names. But if you want to add a name, add them soon. Um, okay. And let's go ahead and start the process of crocheting the pot. Jimbo is is a foot warmer right now. He's laying on top of my feet. But he's finally relaxed a little bit. We gotta make the pot extra big because he's a growing boy. I love that. What am I doing this summer? Um. Well, I might be going on a trip to, I kind of want to go to Portland. Um, I might be going to Pittsburgh to visit my friend Emilio. Um, we're going to be, I'm going to be crocheting a whole lot of fish and fish related things. Ooh, he does kind of look like an Oscar. No, no joke there. That's a not, that's not a bad name suggestion, Linnae. Three, four, five, six. Okay. We didn't use any of our forest green. We're gonna have so much extra forest green at the end of our um, series of live streams. We'll be able to use it for like. Maybe we'll make it, use it for our succulent. We'll be able to do, oh, we'll need to use a little bit of it for the grass of our bonsai tree, that's right. right, I almost forgot. All right, let me get to the, like, body part of the, not the body, but like the, you know, I'm making like the base right now of our bonsai pot, I mean, our little mini pot. And then once I get to the base done, we'll uh, I'll choose my favorite four names and we'll start voting on it. So if you want to add a name, add it now or forever hold your cleats. That's right, we're, we're playing soccer now. Ooh, good neck crack. Let's see, can I get a better one? Okay, 
a try. Oh. <laughs> My mom thinks we should name it Kyle with a C. Sile. <laughs> um, do I have a P.O. box? I don't really. I, I, I honestly, I think I'm paying for a P.O. box, but I don't know what it is. So I need to go look into that. Um, if you're interested, Noah, just email me at louis at clubcrochet.com if you want to really send me something, and I'll, I'll tell you where to send it. Cranky the Cactus. He don't look that cranky. You don't look that cranky, bud. Well, no. Nah, you look pretty happy. Two. One. Two. All right. Almost done with the base. Oh, that, this is pretty quick. Pretty quick. Pretty quick, not gonna lie. Oh, now he's falling asleep on <laughs> at my feet. Man, you need to make up your mind, little dude. I mean, I'd rather you be doing this, but I'd rather you be all sleepy in your bed. Dad thinks we should name it Spike. My dad is also watching. Hi, Dad. Hey, Dad. We're all uh, we're all here to bug you about the uh, tree in the background. Um, someone said earlier that they would have donated ten dollars had I had a tree for them to put crocheted stuff on. So just let you know. Just let you know. We're we're waiting. He just said that? Great. Good. I'm glad he knows. <laughs> okay. Almost done with the base here. And then we're going to go and I'm going to choose my four favorite names. We're going to vote on it. He said he'll start after he cleans the garage for for my mom. Yeah, okay, so I guess we're never gonna get that tree, guys, because uh, he ain't never gonna clean that garage. That garage has been messy my whole life. <laughs> we're putting you on blast. <laughs> okay, here's a quick little tip, by the way, guys. I, I actually don't have this in the video tutorial, but you can make a little bit cleaner of a base for your crocheted pot. Um, by doing something real fancy you go let's see how do i do it again i think i go through the back of this next stitch like this i take my crochet hook out like that I pull it through that i think and then i chain one yeah like this and it makes it just a little bit cleaner of the base of the of the cactus it's just like barely noticeable which is why i didn't do it in the tutorial because it's really hard to explain but if you want to, you can do that to make it just a little bit cleaner of a base of the pot. Oh, there you go. Hillsimp gave us $5 as a tree motivation. Okay, wait, let's... Thank you so much, Hillsimp. Let's... I'm going to add something to the background for you for where the tree is going to be. Um, oh, I tossed that... Hold on. I just tossed your... Hillsimp, this is what we're gonna add for you to the background. That's gonna go on the tree once there's a tree. This adorable little frog with a little bow on it. It's so cute. All right, it's gonna go right here on our top of our toucan. Oh no, it fell over. Okay, wait. 
Oh, jeez. Oh, God. See, we really need a treat. <laughs> there. We're going to put them right here for right now. I'm going to clean this up afterwards. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's right. We're choosing a name. Okay. Name options. Let's see. Ooh, I like that one. All right, name, my favorite names are in the poll right now. The names that I liked the most were Klaus, Corey, Francine, or Dill. I just thought Dill was just such a funny name. It was like totally out of left field. I think like Dill Pickle. So go ahead and vote on which of our names that you want the most as we pet Jimbo with our feet. <laughs> Oh, okay, I'm sorry, I won't. I won't. He didn't like that. And in the meantime, we're going to keep crocheting our pot. Our last part. What is the little rainbow bonimal on the left? That is a piglet. We uh, we just added that today, actually. It's a it's a little pig. Um, for. Wait. Okay, there we go. Sorry. Um, it's a little pig for um, uh, Julie for Julie. What is their easiest pattern on my channel? I would say probably, um, actually probably the beginner cactus was, I think was, is pretty easy. Uh, other ones that were easy. The octopus is shockingly easy. Um, what other ones guys are, are really easy? <gasps> Jimbo went in his spot. What a good boy. Um, uh, hold on, I need to count my stitches real quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 10, 11, 12, 14, 15, 16, 20, 21, 22, 23. Yeah, I thought I was one short. So it's right here. Um, the other ones, uh, Triceratops is pretty easy too. Uh, as is the Stegosaurus. Those are both pretty easy patterns. Um, yeah, any other suggestions from the from the crew? Anybody got a... What other patterns are from the library that are extra easy? Seven, so we got one. Two...
six. Oh, the heart, yeah. That one's pretty easy too. Seven. Six, seven. And then please. Oh uh, yeah, here at Maze Feet, I'll show you Julie's little piglet. Here's a little piglet. He's a little rainbow piggy. He's just a little bonimal. He's got a magnet on in his little bum so he can stick to stuff too. Okay. I think I'm crocheting this maybe a little too tight, so I'm trying to stretch it out just a little bit for us. Probably should loosen up my stitches though as I go. Three, four. Seven, and then an eight, please. time is it by the way oh nice we're doing great on time cool um all right a few more rounds You. I agree the blue is very pretty. Oh, I hear I hear people Jules and Jimmy are talking and laughing The derpy tongue is killing you <laughs> Thanks, Julie I actually only got a few more rounds left. Hey, uh, another shout out next week, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We'll be making our bonsai tree. Uh, we're going to start with part one of the bonsai tree, and then I don't think I'm going to be able to finish it in one live stream. So we're going to be doing a two parter because it's kind of a big pattern. It's the biggest pattern for this um, for this kit. Oh yeah. Oh my God, our boy's gonna look cute. <laughs> look how chubby he is, his little pot. We still have a few more rounds though, so it'll be a little bit higher up of a, of a pot. Oh, cool, D Sunday. Yeah, I love doing that. It's a, it's so perfect for like having a little, like a shoulder buddy. Um, what kind of magnets did I use? I use uh, neodymium magnets. That's what they're called. Uh, they're like extra strong, like rare earth magnets. Um, you can find them online pretty easily. Uh, specifically, I use the sizes. Um, I think I use 12 millimeter by two millimeter. So they're two millimeters thick and 12 millimeters in diameter um, I believe those are the magnets that I'm using but if you search neodymium magnets there's a whole bunch of different sizes that you can use so hopefully that helps let me know if you got any other questions about that though it's fun to say that word too neodymium makes me feel like I'm a I'm a scientist If I'm doing a land, a sea kit, will there be an air kit? And if so, will there be hot air balloons? Maybe. I mean, there's definitely eventually going to be a burp kit. 
Like for sure we'll do a burb kit. Um, we'll definitely be doing like, you know, I, I want to do more dinosaurs. We're going to do space. I got so many though. I mean, like, I want to do a, baz a bazillion different kinds of kits. Yeah, we need a burp one. I totally agree. I think we need like a big burp kit that makes like a bunch of different kinds of birds. Yeah, I need to put more thought into like how that would work, but it's definitely part of the plan. Ooh, good finger crack is good. All right, last round coming up. Uh, put your votes in now for the name of our cactus. We are almost done for the day. And uh, again, yeah, make sure to like this video if you haven't yet. We're still trying to get it to uh, 150 likes for a giveaway next live stream. How is our, oh yeah, look, I, I did actually, I, I mean, I didn't do it really on purpose, but it is like a big pot so that he can, he has room for a little bit of growth. He got a growth spurt still in him, a growth spurt. Two. Oh, Ellie, thank you so much. Ellie donated five bucks. Let's go ahead and add something to the background for Ellie. One second, Ellie. Let's see, what do we got for Ellie? What's this? Oh no, that's an unfinished thing. Let's see, what else we got? What else we got? Where did I put all the bonobos? Oh, they're on my desk. All right, we're gonna go into the monomal and find a good one for Ellie here. Oh, here's a great one. Ellie, this is for you. We're actually running out of monomals, so I need to start making more. Uh, this is gonna be for Ellie. We're gonna add this to the background. It's a little cat. He's got little lines. He's got a little tail. We'll add that to the background for you. Thank you so much, Ellie. And let me show you where I'm gonna put He's gonna be, actually, we're gonna put him right, right here on top of the pug. It's kind of hard to see it, but he's there. All right. If you got a name for that cat, go for it. Oh, thank you for all the little celebration and hearts. I see him. Thank you for, <laughs> that's fun. I don't know what those do, but they're fun to see. Yeah, I gotta do an orange cat bonimal so that like it's more obvious. I got orange yarn made for the for the club crochet yarn because I it's really hard for me to find a really good orange for yarn. I don't know if that's the case for everybody, but for me, it's like the one color that is just so hard to find. So when I was getting the yarn made, I knew I wanted an, a good orange. Look at how good. Look at how good this orange is. It is like, bam. All this yarn, it's like so vibrant. The way it's so vibrant is like, well, it, it's like a special yarn. It's, it's called multi-ply. It's like, it's four ply yarn, but each of those plies are multi-plies. It's like a whole thing. I, next time I do a live stream, I'll talk more about the yarn. I should have talked about it more in this stream, but I didn't. Um, okay, so we wanna cut the yarn, hide the end, and that'll be the end. So we're gonna go outside, inside here.
Okay, moment of truth. Let's add our cactus whose name is, hold on, we gotta end the poll. Dill, oh, I love it. Look at Dill in their little tiny pot. And they're barely poking their little noggin out of there. Oh my gosh. Oh my, God. the pot really makes it so cute. Oh my gosh. 10 out of 10 cactus. Dill, oh my goodness. It looks like a button I can press. Wow. That is really, really cute. I am so proud of that. The eyes too. I love the white around the outside of the eyes. Wow, and the tongue, oh my God. Thank you guys so much for, for all your suggestions and and just sticking around and crocheting with me. I really appreciate it. Cause like, honestly, every time I crochet with you, we make like the coolest stuff. Like, I, I mean, I, I make cool stuff on my own sometimes too, but it's like every time without fail, we make something cool on the stream from your suggestions. I love it. Like I was not, I did not think you guys were gonna be choosing to make a short one. I thought we were gonna make a dark queen. Honestly, I thought you were gonna want me to make basically the basic hunky cactus pattern. And it's so cute. Look the, in the tiny flower. And it's a rainbow flower. Oh my gosh. And the name. Thank you guys for joining. I hope you enjoyed the live stream as much as I did. Um, I'll be on again next Thursday, 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Uh, we'll be crocheting a bonsai tree here. Let me show you what that's gonna look like, by the way. We'll be making this gigantinormous bonsai tree. You can see why we need to make it on the in the in a different place because it's just too big to fit on the screen, really. So we're gonna be doing it on the couch next live stream. It's gonna be more of a chill stream. But I'll still be able to give help if you're if you're stuck at any point. Um, and I think we, I want to make the pot beige for our cactus or our bonsai next time because I have so many of these blue ones, and I think it'd be nice to have a beige one. But yeah, next week we'll be making our cactus. I mean our bonsai tree. Um, what else? Like and subscribe. Um, pasta la pizza. Uh, it does look like a sudowudo. Um, oh, let me see if I can grab Jimmy really quick to say hi. Hey, Jimmy. Hey, Jimmy. Come here. Go out to the your buddy. Pulled, we pulled Jimmy away from his Zelda, so uh, you're welcome, basically. Here, come here. You stand right there. Stand right here on the pad? Uh-huh. Okay. And I'll switch it to the... There you go. Look at how much taller he is than me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> I was like, where is this? This is this Jimmy. Is cool. This is Hi. this is the website daddy. Here's the, here's the chat, by the way. So you can see people saying stuff. Uh, Web daddy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they were like, let's shout website daddy when he comes onto the street. <laughs> uh, but if there's any issues, it's actually Louis's fault. Yeah, so. it's, it's all my fault. Yeah, yeah for sure, for Louis. sure. He's the ideas yeah. guy. Yeah. yeah, look, you really put into perspective how, how short I am. <laughs> oh, wow, well, yeah. Thank you, you make me look taller. Yeah. I'm not actually that tall. But, uh, yeah. I need to know that. This is cool. Yeah, look at this one we made today. His name is Dill. Ooh. Yeah, you can take him out if you want. He's got a little, he's got a little butt too. He's very, oh, I like your watch. I think you do. He's got a pretty cute little butt. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. But yeah, yeah. that's Jimmy. Hey everybody. All right guys, I'll see you next Thursday. Pasta la pizza, happy hooking and bye. Bye. Oh yeah, Jimbo, you want to say bye to him? <gasps> Another Jimmy. Another yeah. Jimbo. Hi. Come. This is this is part of the tradition. He always comes to say bye at the end of the live streams. Okay. Let's say bye. Here, yeah, we'll switch it real quick. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now we want to go down there. Right. Wait, wrong one. That one. No, that one. That one. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Bye, bye.
Let's go play Zelda. Yeah.